Hello, let's draw D together. You'll need some paper, a pencil, and a pen to get started. First, with your pencil, draw three circles. One, two, three. This will be D's head and pigtails. Now draw a square at the bottom of the big circle for D's body. Now draw two long rectangles like me for D's arms. One, two. To help us draw D's face, we need to draw a cross in the middle of the big circle. A line going from top to bottom and a line going from left to right. These are your guidelines. Next, copy me and draw another line going left to right a little bit higher. You don't need to go all the way to the edge of the circle. Instead, draw two curves like this. This will be D's fringe. Now, let's draw four little semicircles. One, two, that's D's hair bands. Three, four, these are her ears. Okay. Now it's time to use a pen. Let's draw over some of the simple shapes. Follow me. The big circle. The little semicircles. And the long rectangle body. Now for Dee's eyes, so she can see all the words she wants to say. Remember those guidelines we drew earlier? We're going to use them to show us where to draw. Starting from the line, curve up, down, and around, like a lemon shape. And another lemon, up, down, and around. Two little eyelashes on each eye, like this. And two circles for her pupils. Colour those in. Next, we'll do our cute little nose. A curvy line like this. And now for the most important bit, her mouth. So she can say all the yakadi words. Ready? Follow me. Ooh. Like a sausage. Now a line at the top for her teeth. And a curved line at the bottom for her tongue. Colour in the middle and there's Dee's lovely smile. Now for some zigzaggy lines to add to Dee's hair. Up, down, across. Up, down, across. And again, up, down, across. And the pigtails, going around the circle, but missing a bit at the top, so it looks like the top of a heart shape. One more this side. Dee's going to need some arms. So first, draw a little shape for her sleeve. Then follow your pencil guide for the arms. Then one, two, three, four fingers and a thumb. Now do the same on the other side. Yeah. First the sleeve, then the arm, and then the hand. Now we mustn't forget Dee's special lightning bolt on her top. Three zigzag lines. One, two, three, and three more. One, two, three. Add a sprinkle of whiz, pop, and bang, and you did it! Woohoo! Now grab your favourite pens and crayons to colour D in. Wow! You did it! Yakka D! Would you like to draw one of D's friends with me? Let's draw Fox. You'll need some paper, a pencil, and a pen to get started. First, with your pencil, lightly draw a circle. This will be the fox's head. Now, draw an egg shape starting near the bottom of the circle, like this, all the way round and back to the top. Wow. Now, egg number two. This one will be inside the egg we just drew. Follow me. Ooh, that's it. This will be the fox's body. Next, we'll draw two arms. Copy me. Draw a curve on the outside of the body. One, two. 
then two pointy triangles at the top of the head like this. To help us draw the fox's face, we need to draw guidelines. First, a line going top to bottom, like this, and a line going left to right, like this. Next, copy me and draw another line going left to right a little bit lower. Now, one longer line in the middle, like this. Well done! Now, with your pencil at the end of the longer line, draw a curve that goes to the bottom of the circle, like this, and then back up to the end of the line again. This will be the fox's chin. That's it for the guidelines. Now it's time to use a pen. Let's draw over some of your simple shapes. Follow me. First, draw a little triangle where the lines cross. This is the nose. <coughs> now from the nose, draw a curve with a little bump in the middle, right to the end of the long line you drew. Like this. And again on the other side. Up and down, up and down. Now let's join these up using our pencil guide. Follow me. Down and bump all the way round and bump. Next, let's draw the top of the head. Starting from the top of the circle, draw a round and flick at the end like this. And again on the other side, a round and flick. Draw two lines from the top of the fox's head to the nose. One, two. Now we'll draw around the egg shapes to draw the body going around, then bump, around and bump. These bumps will look like the fox has fur. Let's do the same with the inside egg, but with lots of bumps. Wow, what a lovely furry tummy. Time to draw the ears so the fox can hear all the yakety words. We start by drawing a triangle on the top of his head. And again. Now we do the same, but inside the ears like this. Now for the eyes. Draw two circles, one on each side. Then a circle within the circles. Colour the little circles in, just like this. These are the fox's eyes so he can see us. Add two little bean shapes for the cheeks. And a curved line for the mouth. You can do whatever mouth you want. I've gone for a cheeky little smile. Let's draw the arms. Follow your pencil guide line down, then add some fingers. Again on the other side. Then some straight lines down for the legs. One, two, three, four. Now for some squiggly lines for the fox's tail. Wiggling up, four zigzag lines, and then curve back to the fox. Then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What a lovely fluffy tail. To help fox look really furry, let's add some little lines like this on the head, the tummy, and the tail. And you did it. Now grab your favourite pens and crayons to colour Fox in. Fox was a tricky character to draw, but following these simple steps, we all did it together.